In this tutorial we're going to be making a simple login. First let's open our Unity project. Currently I have the lobby scene, but because we're going to make login first, let's just rename this to login. Now let's create one text field, which will be only using username and a button to just log in our user, nothing else. Also, let's rename our button to login. Now let's open our project, our server part. Last time we created a new deserialize and serialize class, which is chat. Uh, we're going to be using it in the next tutorials, but currently we need one for our user login. Now the thing you want to do here is maybe create a new class here, or another way of doing it is if we want, for example, we can rename this for, let's say, networking data. And let's just keep this as a chat. And just inside we can put everything, every data that we want to use. For example, if we have a user, let's, uh, this be user login. I just call it user login. So this really depends how you want to structure your work, nothing else. If you think that this is easier for you, uh, you can do it this way. If you think that doing it with a folder structure, it's also good. But in our tutorials, I think this will be easy because we are not going to put so much data that uh, is going to just fill up enough space for us to keep it in one file. So when our user logs in, the only thing that we want to pass is username. So as you can see, it's similar to the chat. We just pass username. If you have password or anything else, you'll be setting it here as well. Now, because of we changed our renamed our file, you can see this is also renamed, let's just turn it back to chat. Now the next part is we want to handle that user data, when we receive it here, we want to store it somewhere. So what we do is, let's create a new folder here in our main project, and let's call it models. Inside of it, let's create a new class Let's call it user. If you have any data you want to store of the user, we're going to be storing it right, right here. But for us, it's only a name for now. Now, what we need to do next is create a new tag. Let's call it user login. Let's give it some value, maybe just one. If we see the message received event arguments, for example, we can see that it returns a client of type iClient. This contains our unique ID. We have it as well in the client connect arguments and the client disconnect arguments. So that's very good for us because we always have access to the client. Now, there are a couple of ways we can do this, but just to make things more clear, uh, I think here is the best way. We can just put a new variable of type 
hi client and let's import the Darkrift server as well here. So every time we want to access our user model, we will have access to the username and all the data that our client gives us. Now let's create a dictionary which will have an integer key which will be our client ID and a user which is our user model. Let's also import our models here. Let's call it client ID to player. Now, as you can see, you can do this a couple of different ways. We're going to be using the ID to the user, but you can use, for example, ID to the client ID or iClient to user. There just it depends how you want to work with, uh, how you want to store the users. The next step is to actually put some data in this dictionary. So keep in mind this this dictionary will contain all the users that are inside our game. When we connect to the client, when we connect to the server, let's just type client ID to player at and we need to access our client ID and we also need to create our user here. Let's set our client. And we need to pass the user as a value. So this is how we fill our dictionary. We can also do a check which should never enter, but just in case if something happens, we can just check uh, if we already have such a key. And if we don't, then we add the new user. We're just preventing any kind of errors like this, and we're going to be doing such a checks in a lot of places. Let's do the same thing in the disconnect method. Let's just copy this. But this time we want to check if our client ID actually exists. And if it does, we want to remove the player from it. So when we disconnect, we want our player to be disconnected and removed from the dictionary as well. Now the next step is actually see, receive the message when we send the username. Last time we used if statement and you can continue using if statement, but if you think it's simpler, you can always change it to switch and we can just make different cases. For example, like this. Now let's check for the user login. And now when we have logged in, we will want to add our player, our username to the actual user value. So what we do is, of course, just again, let's check if it exists, which it should exist. And we
we just get our user model and place the username to what we pass to what what we sent it to the server so currently what we did is we just receive everything we did everything we sent with the user login serializer which is the username and before that we had our user created in the client connected so what we want to do next is say we just want to let's output every user that's connected to our server when we log in And we just let's console write line pair dot value username. And to make some more to make things more clear, let's just separate it like this. Let's build our project. Now when we open our networking manager, let's just add a new method to it, which will be on a login click. Let's create our user login serializer. Also, we need to add our input field. So let's just uh, first import using TMP Pro and create a new variable of input field. Let's call it username. Now we can pass to our user login username equals username dot text let's copy from our previous code these lines and instead of chat just pass user login and the tag is user login as well and save let's open our unity project and inside networking manager we can just drag our input field there now let's go to our button and change on click event to the new method we just created on login click let's save start our server click on play and if we enter something let's enter our username which is memory as we can see as many times as we click we only have one user now we can try to build this let's just go to settings and instead of full window just pick some smaller size for now And let's build it. Now we can start our game. Let's do it multiple times. We can see every time is connecting a new client. Let's enter some names. As you can see, every time we log in, 
the users are displayed here. So that was it for this tutorial. If you've liked it, please leave a like and subscribe for more.